Hey guys, Theme Park Magic here and welcome to a brand new video. The time is 8.38 in the morning. I am knackered. Um, I've only just woke up to hear the news of the brand new Scarefest lineup. So I thought, heck it, I'm going to get down there early. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to talk about what is to come. So I think first we should talk about what is returning so we have got first the attic now the attic was brand new for last year and from what i heard it was a great scare maze this year if i'm able to go to scarefest i will be doing all the mazes as i am now the correct age um i'll probably be visiting with mgsb but yeah i absolutely loved the attic i thought it was a great scare maze um, from reading reviews and looking at other people's YouTube channels. Um, so I completely understand why it has returned for a second season. Um, I think that, obviously, with scare mazes, they tend to change after the first year, so it'll be different. So it'll be cool to see what is different. And obviously, with this year's scare mazes um, and this year's scare fest, they've put a lot of thought into COVID-19. They are bringing back the scare zones which i will announce later um so they are bringing back scare zones um obviously to cater outside just in case there is um some sort of second wave um near the scare pe fest period and they're still allowed to open then um everything's in measure for that um anyway also returning is um Altonville Mind Doors Legend did the Skin Snatches. I nearly forgot the name then. Um, yeah, once again, that is running. That has been going for ages. Um, from what I remember, it was the 2016 season. Um, a lot of people are saying it may be outdated, but a lot of people said that about Subspecies, which doesn't seem to be returning this year, um, which is another interesting one. Um, but yes, um, I think that maybe... It's got a couple of seasons left in it. Obviously, I want to go in it before it, it's the end. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, with Ottonville Mind Tours now that Subspecies is gone. Um, and I've kind of already announced that as well. Subspecies will not be returning. Um, a lot of people were saying how outdated it was. So it doesn't really surprise me. Anyway, let's get in to the new mazes scare zones all sorts so the first brand new addition to scarefest will be the freak show toxic junkyard now if you see on my channel in the 2017 period um i did go in the freak show and it was probably one of my favorite scarefest uh additions i absolutely loved the freak show um when i went in it <laughs> <laughs> so now um by the sounds of it um from what a lot of my friends are saying and speculating and stuff it will be very similar to carnival of screams obviously toxic junkyard i'm now thinking maybe zombies as well um so once again it'll be interesting to see what happens to the freak show um, I am very looking forward to it. Um, I'm assuming more lights, more things. But I don't know whether it's going to be in the same location, which is another mystery. Um, in the 2016 and the 2017 se uh, season, um, they did have um, a scare maze near um, the little pathway to, um, from Spinball Wizard towards the Smiler and X Sector. Um, so it'll be interesting if they have it there, but obviously in the 2018 season they had the freak show on tour, I think, I don't know, where they had like, um, what is now the park ranger's car, um, that has obviously been rethemed, it was originally the freak show's car, well actually it was originally the park keeper's car, but yeah, then it got rethemed to freak show and then it got rethemed to traffic patrol, so it'll be interesting to see how they're going to experiment it where they're going to put it um but speaking of experimenting we've now got i forgot the name but it is the logo will appear around here it is a maze to do with the gardens um now this is a lights walkthrough 
um, see the gardens as you've never seen before is what they are advertising. Um, so once again, very interesting to see what they're going to do. Um, I've got very high hopes for this year's Scarefest. I think it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very excited to see Toxic Junkyard and whatever the, whatever's in the gardens come to life. Um, now, finally, drum roll, please. Drrr, it is a mystery, um, one that has not yet been announced. Towers um, did a little bit of a cheeky cheeky and they emailed the local residents saying it was ready for subspecies. They were going to get cranes for shipping containers that were going to be for subspecies. But did the containers end up in subspecies? No. The, the, the crates seemed to end up going near where the old Scary Tales scare zone was. Um, so once again, very interesting to see what they do there. So if you're looking for the exact location where the shipping containers are, they are where the Golf Challenge is or Golf Challenge was. Um, yeah, they are right there. So once again... Very interesting. And looking at the shipping container numbers from photos and stuff, I would, editor me would have put some photos here. It looks very different to subspecies, let's just say that. Even though I've not been in it, I, I've been to Scarefests and I know what the subspecies crates look like. Once again, very interesting. So, um, yeah, whatever this news maze is, or maybe it is subspecies um, and they just have a complete revamp. Um, then it will be very, very interesting. Apparently more details are to be announced today, um, later on today. So I will probably most definitely be making a second video. And I know what you guys are saying. What about Darkest Deaths? Well, I've just remembered that is also returning. Um, my favourite scare maze. Um, but once again, there's another question. If the fireworks continue, will they open Darkest Depths again? very interesting but darkest depths was very well themed very well lit very well scared a great attraction um and obviously a massive step up for the old family attraction which was house of monsters so very excited to see that for the second season anyway guys what are your thoughts about the scarefest lineup or what this mystery maze could be, well be Put in the comments. I absolutely love reading comments. Um, my comments usually turn off, um, but I always make sure I turn them back on. Um, I love reading your guys' stuff. I love responding to stuff. Um, I don't think I've ever not responded to a comment. Um, so, yeah, comment speculations, comment everything. Anyway, guys, um, if you were new to my channel today, please subscribe. And I really do hope you enjoy and you can come with me to theme parks, vlogs, all sorts um and if you've already subscribed thank you for joining me back anyway i've been theme park magic you guys have been awesome this has been the scarefest lineup 2020 and i'll see you all later